Hey, I'm Jacob. Welcome to Chuvu. In this video, I'm going to make a wild mushroom and rabbit, or in this case, a hare pasta. Using pachini mushrooms that we foraged ourselves, rabbits that we hunted ourselves, and pasta that we bought ourselves because I couldn't be bothered making any pasta from scratch. But regardless, it's pretty tasty. So stick around for some foraging, some hunting, and some cooking. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, also, we blew up some chili sauce bottles just because we thought it would look cool, and um, like, it, it did look cool. So my good buddy Alexi, whom I met through the festival circuit many moons ago, check out his beer and saloon in Nuri. Because honestly, his beer is legit sick. Those boys over at Western Ridge make some top quality stuff. So check it out. Anyway, Alexi asked me if I wanted to go hunting rabbits with him. And of course I said, yes. Remember, when hunting in South Australia, you will need the following by law. A gun license if hunting with a bang bang. A hunting license, which is available online and written permission from the owner of the property that you're hunting on. Without these three things, you can get in some serious, serious trouble if older Johnny Law comes a knocking. So make sure you get your paperwork in order because you can get in some serious legal trouble even if you're just hunting pesky rabbits, for example. Speaking of which, I went on at length in a previous video as to why hunting rabbits is a good idea. In short, they are devastating the environment, they are super delicious and very nutritious. So it's win, win, win. Remove a really, really devastating pest from the environment and get yourself some good tucker at the same time. Mm. It's so good. However, despite rabbits being very, very pestilent in this country, they are still sentient beings and deserve the respect that any living creature deserves when you're out hunting it. So in order to make sure we get some accurate and clean shots, we first have to sight in the guns. And by we, I mean Alexi, because I don't have as much experience with guns as he does. So on this journey, I decided to hand the reins to the big boys because frankly, they're just better shots than I am. <laughs> At least it missed the lens, so shit. And now it's time to get some dinner. Lexi takes charge. We're a little bit early in the day, but we still managed to get a few rabbits, spook some kangaroos, and uh, yeah, just have a good old hike around the vineyard. Alexi wastes no time dressing their hair, he just shot some of the other boys got a few little things as well and Alexi was kind enough to give me a hair to take home to cook, so let's get cooking. First I'm going to strip down the hair, removing as much meat from the bone as I can be bothered. We will debone the rest a bit later. Then I brown the meat in some hot olive oil, adding some herb infused chili salt available online. Once browned, I remove the hair and let to rest. Adding an unhealthy glob of butter to the same pot, I fry some garlic, fresh tarragon, and thyme, all of which came from my garden. A splash of dry white wine will deglaze the pot and get any chunks of hair and fat off the pot, which will add extra super delicious flavor to the sauce. Earlier this year, we did a ton of mushroom foraging for edible mushrooms, and we had a very, very successful year, especially when it came to pachinis. We banged out every single time we went out. We had a fantastic time. However, I burnt through all mine, giving them away, trading with mates, and just, just absolutely smashing them because they're so delicious. Fortunately, Alex, my cousin, had some leftover from the last time we went out. He dried them out, and I was lucky enough to get a jar. So I'm going to be using dried pachinis from earlier this year, but they will rehydrate quite quickly 
once they start cooking. So I throw in a hearty fistful of the delicious porcinis and stir in. The porcini mushroom adds a rich, almost nutty flavor to the meal. They are probably my favorite mushroom on earth. A cup of veggie stock and an extra splash of wine for the pot, and for me, doesn't go astray. I'll then add the hair back into the mix, stir through, and let simmer for about two hours on a low heat, stirring occasionally. This will help soften up that meat, making it easier to debone a little bit later on, and also making it more succulent. After two hours or so, I remove the hair that has bones in it and strip off the meat. Don't be afraid to get your hands right up in there, baby. Just make sure it's cooled a bit so as not to burn yourself. I'll add that back to the pot and that's pretty much ready to rock and roll, so I'm gonna let that chill for a bit and get my pasta cranking. The trick to this fettuccine is to only give it a quick boil in the water as we're gonna add the fettuccine to the pot in a bit and you don't wanna overcook it, else it will get all soggy and shithouse. Save that pasta water though, cause we're gonna mix some flour into it which combined with all the stuff Starches from the pasta will thicken our sauce when we add it back to the pot and make it even creamier. I chuck the pasta in the sauce and add my thickener. You can run that through a sieve if you're worried about lumps. Stir through and give the pasta a quick fry in the sauce. Rock and roll, baby. It's ready to go. Fettuccine. Wild hair and foraged mushrooms. Extra strong Romano cheese. Fresh down. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Oh man. Oh gosh. I don't want to like stroke my own ego too much, but god damn it. I mean, it's not really me, it's the ingredients. That is. Oh. Honestly, this is fucking fantastic. Mm, how decadent. Oh man, okay. This is about to get real ugly, so I'm gonna sign off. You've been watching Churu, I've been Jacob. Let me know what your favorite rabbit or hair recipe is in the comment section below. If you like this video, share it around. Grab a bowl of my hot sauce, it's a fun little promo. You can get it online on various outlets. Go to the about section on our website. Like, subscribe, share, all that stuff. And like, honestly, get out there and get yourself some rabbits and, or hares. They're um, abundant, nutritious, delicious. I mean, honestly, oh, this might be one of the tastiest things I've made on this channel. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even just making that shit up. Like legit, I have to um, give credit to my wife for the recipe, to be honest. Mm. I didn't even put chili in it. I put chili in everything. It would be better with chili though. Mm. Oh my god, that is legit sick, dude. See you next time. Mm.